Okay guys, welcome to episode 2. I'm super pumped about this. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. All right, Mr. Finch is going to erupt me all the time. Interesting. Another dinosaur that furthers the case of a direct linkage to our modern birds. Alright, if you guys didn't know, Struthiomimus actually means, uh, I believe it means ostrich mimic in Latin. So that's a very uh, direct relation, I guess. And if you look at it, it does look like an ostrich. We do have to name this guy. Let's name him. We did Uno. Um, let's do. Uh, clearly the best name ever. We'll just do a Fred quick. And then. Let's pull out the next one. And I'm going to try to make these drastic evolutions a little longer for you guys because. They are, uh, we can skip that right there, but they are gonna, they, they're so, it's so much fun, but if you do short episodes in this, I feel like you can't get a whole lot done. And we're gonna name this one Wilma. Now, we gotta look at trying to get into other dinosaurs, guys, first off. And also, we really need a ranger team. That's gonna be one thing. So, okay, the perfect example here. We got our research hey, team. I'm Isaac. I've been hearing good things about you. I'm in charge of the entertainment division here. What good is the world's greatest show if no one sees it? Don't answer. That's rhetorical and painfully obvious. What I'm saying is that we need people in our parks. Fill up our facilities with warm bodies. Numbers bring revenue, excitement, and opportunities. Oh yeah, so I know what you're thinking. You're seeing, well, it knocks down everything else too. It doesn't do that if you look at the science entertainment in the middle there. It actually, it boosts the entertainment much more than it hurts either the other two. You just gotta be careful that you're doing it in a balanced way. So we will do a structured thing, but real quick, we're gonna extract DNA from the trike. This should put us over 50 to complete that mission. And eventually we'll be able to unlock the other islands. Oh, that's a good one for trike. Ooh, wow, we're gonna be that wow well, we can sell that one and sell that these are actually a pretty good way in my opinion to make money in this game let's go over to research I think we were working on oh I don't know it's oh it's done right now actually awesome the color we were looking at alpine coloring so let's go to the building upgrades really quick um let's see success rate these are super important as well as these are i think we're gonna start with these to make it so we don't fail on another dinosaur like we failed in the last episode all right so let's exit out of there let's check our dig team and send them out oh uh, let's we are making great strides so far I believe I may be on the cusp of something wondrous, and I have you to thank, at least in part, for where I find myself. Now we need to incubate, hatch, and house our dinosaur. Then we will know if our efforts will have been worth it. Alright, well let's send these ones out to the Lance Formation, one of the most well-known, uh, I guess, fallen formations with multiple dinosaurs. Let's go back over here quick. Um, the one thing I wanted to show off here guys if we can find one of the little fellas is they all have stats And we got to be really careful with these. Oh, we got to get a feeder in here, too Oh, that's a good thing good thing. I remember but you can see What they prefer and honestly so the social is how many they can be with of their same type and population is how many dinosaurs they can be around so these guys are pretty much good to be anywhere uh you, like you know obviously you're going to want to keep carnivores separate and herbivores but as far as these guys go these guys can be with other ones so we need to build a feeder right away because i did not build one so enclosures 
All right, let's do a feeder. These guys need just this one, but we're gonna put a couple of them in here because if one goes bad, we're in a bad spot. Also, this is a tall one for the big sauropods, like Brachiosaurus carnivore. And there's this new fish feeder, which I'm assuming is for like Spinosaurus. Uh, in real life, they actually ate a lot of fish. Hopefully the game has got it right. But they did want us to start doing a trike. All right, let's go ahead and let's start with two of them actually. Because if I remember right, I think they like having more than one. And we're gonna check that out. We're gonna get trikes rolling. Pretty, pretty, one of my favorite dinosaurs I think there's been. So let's check and see what we got in fossils quick. Okay, the dig team is not back yet. Um, less than a minute remaining. We need to see here before operations. We can build a ranger station. Let's try to do that here. Um, let's see. Right here probably would be good. Boom. All right, let's build a road. And there's other things to worry about, like power and stuff, too. And let's do a ACU building. So the ranger station will fix fences, feed dinos, make them uh, also not sick. There's a lot to bring in on this, guys. You guys will definitely catch up with this with no problem. ACU is kind of, in a lot, some ways, I kind of think it's like a better version of the ranger station but it can transport dinos too let's get a road to it really quick it looks like you've run out of power that's not good build more power stations or increase your output all right and that's another thing so when you build you need to get power let's check on oh uh, oh we don't have enough money do we Oh, okay, we can, we can. Let's see, operations. Um, ACU, let's look at power. Oh, that's down. All right, so how do we get down there? There we go. All right, that's a power deal. Oh, shoot. We got to be really careful with that. All right, let's uh, get these guys out. Here we go, our first Triceratops. And we're gonna name them Spike. I, I love these guys. And we can make them all look really cool and stuff later on. Oh yeah, you roar. You let them know who's boss, Mr. Trike Face. Our new specimens, sorry, dinosaurs, are meeting expectations. But we want them to thrive. That's your next assignment. Making sure our specimens are properly cared for. In other words, dinosaur welfare. The difference with dinosaurs is that they have no point of reference to understand humans, so don't expect much in the way of thank yous. I've been monitoring what you've been up to with great interest, and I'm a little disappointed that Dr. Dua came to you for this assignment instead of bringing me into the loop as she should have done. I'll discuss this with her later. Uh, oh, hey, and that's the first that you see of that, uh, the doctor guy, the, I think he's kind of evil, or, not really evil, but he's kind of an antagonist. Oh, hey, so we need to get power rolling, but we need to go and do it in our fossil thing here. Give me a second. Uh, I, we need to go here so we can sell off some stuff. Oh. You made the security division look good today. Let's make that every day, shall we? All right, so we have enough for our power dealio. Start mission. I've got a new assignment that I think is perfect for your skill set. All right, so we need to get this power building up. Let me know if you're interested. All right, so I believe I don't think we're gonna be able to fit it up here, sadly. Glad to have you on board. 
As you can imagine, the animals in the various facilities are constantly probing for weaknesses in our security systems. They're smarter and more devious than people give them credit for. But I refuse to underestimate their capabilities. That's why I'm always testing and evaluating our security protocols and barriers. And this is where you come in. I've got to give this guy Lambert his due. He actually sees these animals as both opportunity and threat. Oh, I did not build that I'm right. We're probably going to redo that DNA down the road. To incubate and hatch a dinosaur. This is the first phase of this mission. Carry on. All right. That should solve our problem, build a power problem when we get done. All right, guys, it's going to be the end of this episode. We'll see you next time. We got some more dinos going. We got power under control, and we'll see you later, folks.